acting out? No, he's warming up. Okay, so let's get started, folks. I'm sorry. We had a scheduling of the town office conflict. So tonight the Sanitary Commission is meeting in there. We're meeting out here. And need more meeting space, Denise. Yeah, where's that town hall going to be done? <laughs> it is down there. Okay. All right, so it's called a meeting to order. Um, is there any public comments on items not on the agenda? Mm -hmm. Changes or additions to the agenda? Alfred. You want to come closer so we could hear you better? Sure. <laughs> uh, we just started an another project on Old West Church Road. It's mm -hmm. berm removal. And we're going to put gravel on it. It's that hill, that long hill right by the Martins. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we'll be working on this week. Um, Weather permitting. Any chance you can get somebody? I, I went by her today. I know it's not what you usually do, but I know it's just a stone wall right across from the Morses, and just dirt is just thrown up against it. Somebody just David Morse. Yeah, where you guys went in with the great earths. They didn't complain. I'm just saying it looks not very good. It's all this black dirt up against the wall now. Against which wall? I'm just the stone wall across from their house. Oh, it looks that way from the road. Maybe I'm wrong. It looks it's all torn up. And Can you check it out? Kind of bad. I'm, I'm waiting for the complaint to come in. You know. Yeah. So, so where's the dirt getting splashed from? From the road? Well, it looks like there, you guys. There's a hill going. This is going north. There's a hill, and there's is it the right, greater angle is delayed. Yeah. And so that's our project. That's right. So I'm saying. And so I'm saying that we're not done. Oh, okay. So oh, we just started today. Okay. Oh, so, oh, yes, yeah, so it's going to oh, look okay. terrible for a while. Oh, okay. So, you're going to be. Um, we're going to shape it. We'll seed the edges. We're pulling the berms off. So, we get, there's, a, there's a berm that's a foot and a half. Yeah, yeah. I figured it. Yeah. And so, we're pulling that off, and then we'll put the gravel on it. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, no, we're, yeah, we're far from done. Okay. And then we'll, we'll seed the edges. The edges back, so it'll be grass in. Okay. Right. I think if we're talking about the same spot. Well, yeah, okay. But, yeah, but, but it looked like there was like a you know, just because the way the machine goes in, it just it pushes, it's kind of mucky. It looks like it pushed it against the wall. So before we get a complaint, let's show the best sign. Well, but maybe we're going to do that. Let us, let us finish here. Yeah, okay. I wasn't, I mean, we just, if it's if it's the same project yeah. that I'm talking about, yeah. we'll just charge it today. Yeah. And we'll, we'll make it right. I talked okay. to the landowner, uh, Mrs. Martin. She was totally fine with it. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it'll okay. it'll heal when we get done. Okay, we'll have it seated down. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Um, so, and I'm also been working on the town hall, as we all know. Mm -hmm. That's been keeping me a little bit jumping. Yeah, uh, they're supposed to pour concrete or start pouring concrete tomorrow. Oh, okay. Jeff so is coming. Perry's coming back. Yeah, we did. The, we dug the last parts of the holes that they needed for on Thursday. So excellent. So you're pouring concrete for what? Town hall. Porches and things outside. Oh, the porch. they already poured the porch pillars out front. It's just the, the porches that extend away from the existing foundation or the original foundation. So it's, they wanted to do it in steps. So uh, it's almost there. And then there's still the retaining wall out in front underneath the stairs in the front between the road and the wall. That will, I'll have to dig that after he gets the pillars next to the building done. So that's that's the progress there. Okay. Um, Getting ready for winter plowing season, right? We've got plow fronts all on the trucks. We're, you know, the plows are ready to go. We just, it's, you know, we got to well, need them. I was going to say, hopefully we won't need them yet. No, we're not going to need them yet. <laughs> we got another month. Yeah. Okay, so there's a saying we're going to lose it. We're not getting an accumulation. I don't think I'm supposed to get an accumulation. No. It's their Grassy. famous new term, snow showers. Yeah, no. <laughs> what does that mean? Right. Let's some buffalo. Anything else? So, other than that, unless people have questions, I don't I don't have much. You guys are 
raring to go. They're yeah. almost have yeah. to hold them back. Mm -hmm. Who, the road crew? The road crew. Uh, they're, 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 oh, they're, 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 ready, they're ready to plow? Yeah. They're loving it. Well, one of them is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Which one? Paul? Paul is really excited about snow. He's, he is just <laughs> waiting for it. So. Really? Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> yep. Who knew, right? After everything he went through last year. Yeah. Well, he, that was I, a learning experience. Yeah, he's got that out of the system now. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody has to have something like that happen yeah, when they learn, yeah. right? Well, that's the best way to learn. Right. Is, is yeah. Yeah. Any mention about the Worcester Road and Dorothy Naylor's concern? Yeah. I talked to Dorothy talked about it, to and I scolded her a little bit, asking her to call me first with an issue. And then it went to uh, a, a lot larger project than what, sh what can be done. She thinks that, and rightfully so, sh it needs to be dug up and redone. Because the pipeline that already done? Not that, 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 that stretch she's oh, talking about. Okay. She's talking about from Mike Mackey's to the tap to the sort of the fishing boat access. Okay. It's that flat, uh, it's constant. You got water on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just wicked. God, the road just you wicked up. Part two. You didn't. Okay. No. And the other, but the other part of the road that you did do. The part up above, we haven't touched it. We touch it once in the spring. We grade it, and then it's done. We don't touch that again. Yeah, because that's held up nicely. But that's got three feet of gravel and under drain, right. and yeah, that's this a one's going to be a road. tough one. No, it's basically built in a swamp. It is. That's right, and that, but that's what she's looking for. I thought it was just. I thought it was just she wanted. Because I went and looked at that road this morning, and that's yeah. the spot that I see. Yep, we need to get a grader on this. Right. Um, and then I see that see the email saying that you know that it's just the worst road in town, and this road needs to be more intended, intended to. And so I called her right away, and I said, you know, please, can you just call me first and let me explain what the deal is? But then she went on saying that it's a lot larger project than than just a quick fix. Now, a quick fix, the way I took it from her opinion, was great. Mm -hmm. So. That's how we fix all the roads. Right, it's a dirt road, and it's and it's got water on both sides of it. Right, that's going to be a tricky fix. But I think what she's after is is us to look into a, a bigger a grant project right. to dig and that's up what she new gravel down. Yeah, and uh, you know, and you'd have to put fabric in also. Yeah. But that's a large project, and certainly not happening this year. Well, no, we don't have the yeah. money for it. a large project like that. Yeah. You have to plan for it, so maybe you can put that on your list of future projects. Yeah, well, we are we're we are going to apply for some Class 2 grants mm -hmm. for next year, so that's one that we can look at. Class 2 is Class two road highway. Road. Class 2 highway is normally we use, there's structures grants, right. and there's Class 2. So usually we use Class 2 grants for blacktop. Oh, that's what I thought. But you can also use them for resurfacing oh. and and rebuilding uh, problem spots. Okay, well that's good. So that's know. one to look at. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, that's a long there's a long list of, of right. you know projects that, that that grant could cover. So yeah, okay. Um, so I'm guessing that Dot's going to want to yeah. come in and talk with the select board about I don't, that. I don't think so. No, no, no. I mean I didn't. I didn't get, get that, that from her thing. email. I, no. She just was really, you know, pleading her case that it was a problem spot, and I just wanted to make sure it's on your radar. And yeah, yeah that's yeah. fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't be surprised if she wants to come in because that's the way I took it. Oh no, I don't. I didn't take it that way at all. No, that's all right. No, and it's already she does. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. But yeah. Um, so anyway, I, I I dealt with that as best I can. I'll grade it as soon as it dries out enough, so right. I can. Um, you know, when it rains every other day, right. which just hasn't all summer, we've been very lucky. Right. But this fall, we've gotten some rain, and yeah. what does rain do? But just makes right. the breeze bottles. Right. You know. So we'll get to it as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. Since okay. the, we had a couple days of dry weather. Good. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um. And the tires on. Oh yeah, that you said that was in East Montpelier. Yeah, I, I went to investigate those this morning, and I ran into uh, Eva Gunthrick, uh -huh. which oh, was one tires. of the one of the. She was one of the. Right, yeah. The only way I heard about it was the 
front porch forum. Right. Well, she was one of one of the conversators on the front porch forum. So I cornered. I said, "What can you tell me about these tires?" Oh, they're up on Center Road, and I know that Center Road is just a very short part of Callis. So it's like, okay, I'm big relief now because it's not our problem. Right. It's up by the Bear Farm, and there's there's some on Niagara Road too. Can you refresh me? Because I don't read French port form much. Somebody's been, as they usually do before um, Green Up Day, seating our road with tires have been driving I've down seen, the road. I've seen them on Center Road. So there's there's some on on the north side of the hill, mm -hmm. south side of the hill on Center Road. Yeah. And then you come up the hill, and then you come down across in front of the Bears Farm as you go north. Right, and there's right. three there, and yeah. then if you go down Hager Road, there's and some there. So, so there was a suggestion that that people were putting those tires there to keep motor vehicles out of the ditch. That's what I thought when I first saw that. That's so, what I thought until I went on a Haggard River. There's no so, ditch. But well, if the, well, I asked, if I said, Callis Road crew is going to put something up to keep motorists out, it's going to be a cone. It's right. not going to be tires, okay? It's going to be a reflective orange and yeah. white cone. Yeah. Yeah. So just so everybody knows, yeah. I'm not putting tires. And so what did what, was, what did Eva want? She wanted you to pick up the tires. She, or? Well, no. no, she was concerned about the vehicles going into that wash spot and that the, the wash spot should be fixed. But it's not even that's in actually, that's, not That was a ditch they dug. Right. Yeah. Oh, was it's it? In East I didn't Hillier. see it because once it I knew it was out of they had you know, they, it terminates at its terminus. So. Yeah. As you go down there. Well, I'm glad you checked it out. So, if anybody else mentions it on Front Porch Forum, I didn't think the road crew would be putting tires in oh, ditches yeah. when I saw that. I thought it was using about it. She was, you know, saying. Yeah. No, you know, it didn't sound like it was a complaint. No. You know, it's a, maybe a potential dangerous spot. And, right. But, I mean, once I knew it wasn't a callus, it was, okay, I'm, I'm out of the picture. It's right. Not, it's not me. Yeah. Okay, well, good. You want cake before you go? No, no, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I do. Anything else? I think we can write it out. I can't think of anything. We'll see you and Toby next Monday night to talk to look at the preliminary budget. Budget. Yeah. yeah. So we'll okay. dive into that next Monday. Okay. Okay. All we're trying to do is. And I guess we're all set for the truck. I haven't, yeah. I haven't got uh, born on date yet, but. Uh, it should be, it's coming soon. Okay. It'll be ready for winter. It'll be ready Not until January. 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 Because it takes We're going to have to limp along. Uh, well, maybe it won't snow until then. Maybe it won't snow until January. Right. So here's something we should discuss. Yeah. Maybe. The 2012 is back in the shop. Well, which one is that? Is that the one that was the, the one lemon. We're That's the lemon. That's the lemon. The lemon. Great. Because they called asking for money for the motor repair. And I said, well, you've got to fix the motor before you get paid for it. So they, oh, oh, can you get it up here? So that was, I want to say it was two weeks ago. So I've still got a, it's dead. It's 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 overheating. Well, not overheating, but it's keeps shutting down. He said. It shuts down, right? There's some reason it thinks that it's overheating. It thinks it's overheating. So I was running it for a while with the fan unplugged, so that the fan stays on. Yeah, because it's supposed to come on and off with the right, temperature. Right, right. That way it won't overheat. Right. So I unplugged it, and the fan stays on. It's like an mm -hmm. air sensor that locks locks the, the mechanism on. So I was running it like that, and then when they get called for money. I'm like, well, you got to fix it because it's not right yet. Yeah. So it's up there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm wondering if is we it, should maybe pursue the mowing. getting our money out of it, getting it sold. Now, don't even bring the truck back here. Yeah, just not. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to be like, you said it was going to go to a, a an auction or something? It's like a, it's a wholesale. Yeah, wholesale. Right. right. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, so, what good is it? It's going to come back. It's going to break down again. Then we got to pay to get it back up there every time. Right. I mean, for the for the amount of time that we that yeah. we have, would get some use out of it. Not right. worth it. Well, no, because every time you use it, you got to worry about something going wrong with it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah I think just get rid of it. Just sell it. Everybody agree? Well, because we're up against the time clock a little bit as far as the money goes, because they said they would give us 45000 if we sell it before the 1st of January. Right. So if we go beyond January, then we're going to lose $5,000. Yeah, just get rid of it. Yeah, just get rid of it. So that's kind of my push for getting rid of it now, because it's... 
That's the difference. Yeah, that's the one. So 45,000, right? Yeah, get as much money out of this as you can get out of it. Yeah, and that's, that's, what, that's what they told us, and that's what I'm, you know, hoping that we get. Right. Okay. But I just wanted to you know, run that yeah. tomorrow. No, so get it, get it out of here before change your mind. Yeah. Well, thanks for keeping us in the loop on it. Yeah. Scott agrees. It's been, yeah. it's been six awful. member voting. Yes, yeah. it's, it's been awful. Yeah. I think it's been giving us a lot of You're problems. gonna feel so good when it's gone. Yeah. 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 It's just been a, too such much. a nightmare. So, just too much. So we still have a backup truck then, right? Well, um, yes. Yeah. So okay. we'll have a. Okay. So we're good. We'll have. Right. We just won't have a spare. So. Knock on wood. Most other towns. Right. 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 We'll be like every other town around. Right. That's right. And when go, one goes down, we have to hustle to get it fixed. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good. It's just been a very good luxury to have that spare truck. Yeah. yeah it has been. Especially in the winter. So. Yeah. It's a problem when the spare is more reliable than that. When the spare is more reliable than that. That's right. That's right. Yep, yeah, that's for sure. Right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Alfred. You know, so you'll get rid of it tomorrow? I will look into it. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, our, it's not on our property right now, so it's really not. <laughs> yeah. But, but I'll look into it. i got to get the guy's phone number, the mm -hmm. wholesaler's phone number, and talk to him directly. Oh, I thought they were doing it for us. Yeah. No. We have the their, it's their connection. It's their contact. Uh, hopefully he still wants it. Yeah, I mean, he, he buys a million trucks a year, so. Yeah, it's got a new engine. And it's got a brand new engine. It's right. It's in good shape. <laughs> doesn't run, but. Yeah. <laughs> right. But it's nice well, to run. It's, 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 it's got you potential. Put a load on it. That's what the problem is. <laughs> it's fine. Right. John, what you meant to yeah. say, it hasn't run much. Right. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Low mileage. Low mileage. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. I knew, I knew we shouldn't have taken that thing back. Oh yeah. All right, Sandra, you want to join us? Yeah. No, but she yeah, won't. Yeah. Pass the cake around, guys. Um, all right. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Does everybody know Sandra? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, Sandra. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm here uh, on a very limited um, matter, and that is the sure. renewal of our liability and casualty insurance. Ellis? <laughs> um, the passive stuff, right? So the passive stuff, it, it covers our buildings, our equipment, our general liability, and um, workers' compensation, unemployment, is by virtue of another insurance policy. So uh, I have completed the application for renewal, and I wanted to bring to the board's attention two items, um, and that is uh, our coverage on our town hall and our coverage on this building. So currently, uh, the coverage is a guaranteed replacement value. This building here is in at $280,575. It strikes me as that might be a little low. Uh, I spoke with Alfred about it. I spoke with my husband about it. It's about right if you could rebuild this building for $200 a square feet. I don't know that you can, and then you have the vault. No, so that right. was like fifty thousand dollars. The the vault is entirely a kind of a room, all of its own. Mm -hmm. So my um, thought for the select board is we certainly want to renew our policy within the time frame that they have set. But it is my recommendation that the select board speak with an underwriter about that. They can always adjust the value um, and build they don't us mind more for it. They don't mind if we want to make it higher. Right. So that, that just felt low to me. And the second item that you could, if you choose, speak with an underwriter about is the town hall. 
It is currently valued at $1.1 million, plus or minus a few bucks. And it is in, again, at a guaranteed replacement cost. However, when um, our inspection was done by Jim Carrion, he indicated to us that we may not have coverage it may not be covered at all for loss because it is under uh, construction or renovation. So that is uh, by far and away. Yeah, I'm uh, list. That is a. a, a, a I'm certainly issue. not going to delete it from coverage. We're going to keep right. it the way it is. But I wanted the select board to be aware that that was a red flag for me. And at the very least, uh, if because we're self-contained in coverage and um, we're in this pool with the LCT, they, they can write their policy. And if they choose to write, if, if, if this kind of construction is excluded, it's excluded. That's is it because it's such an extreme project? I mean, you renovate your house. It's just simply right. excluded from their coverage. They, call they, it they wanted us to, they, they call it would have preferred that we had a builder's risk, builder's risk uh, right. coverage on it so that a GC would typically have that coverage because we're not coverage, covered for loss because we don't have a fire or something. Right. So the question is, one, um, is it covered at all? Because right. you shouldn't be paying a premium if it, if it actually isn't covered at all. And two, if it is or can be covered, to what extent can it be covered? We should know about that. So my only recommendation at, to the board is to, if you choose, uh, to look into those two items, see if this building is really valued at, at the right amount. It might be... I don't know, thirty, fifty thousand dollars, sixty thousand dollars short, and check your coverage on the town hall. Right. So Jim Carrey works for the league. Carrey. Carrey. He's Carrey. So, so the league, it's their policy, and he say it may not. Can he just no. give us a firm one way? No, he know. says that we're not covered. Oh, that we're not. So I have a note. I have been making a list, and I've talked to Sandra a couple times about it, and we talk about it at staff meeting. I'm going to contact Larry Smith because I've got all these questions about their coverage. Why don't we just get a policy while it's under construction right now, go to Dennis Ricker and Brown or somebody. Can I finish? Oh. So I have a whole list of questions to ask Larry Smith and have him direct them to the right people because for one thing, we're not building anything, we're renovating. Right. So why doesn't our current coverage cover it? It's like every time we go to VLCT to get I know. something, something. Covered, covered that we think we got coverage for, it's not covered. And I'm a little no miffed. miffed yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I'm just That's miffed. Covered. I miffed that every time we go to use it, it doesn't do anything. Maybe so they're insurance. Maybe we shouldn't be insuring with them anyway. Well, I think we need it. a representative to come and talk to the board about Seems like workers come. the LCT coverage. Mm -hmm. You know, the insurance coverages that we have. Because I know other towns have had experiences and they've gone elsewhere for coverage of some of this stuff. So anyway, so I just want to let you know, I'm going to have to get somebody to come in. It might be Larry. I don't know who. And how, how many other towns have been had this exposure unknowing? Right. I mean, why is that? That's how we mess with Right, that's how we find out about stuff. When we find out if it's not covered, like the crane. Yeah. Yep. What did the whole green thing cost us? Oh, I don't even remember off the end. $100,000. $100,000. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. All right, and then Sandra has a couple more things. <laughs> do we know the, do we get the amount from the auditors? No. no. He's out of the office until tomorrow, but you're... Your basic amount you could move, and it's going to be give or take a few cents. And I put it in that email, but I can figure that out now. With the, let do me we get need, that number. What we need to do, um, the, need to what the board needs to do is the board needs to motion to put the that. surplus highway money into the capital equipment fund. If you're okay not knowing the exact dollar amount, we can make a motion. Sense. Okay, to do that, but I think but that's our general policy, right? We just we've never really yeah. done it by motion before, but I think it's a good idea to do that. You're right. Um, oh, you're coming back with the figure. Okay. You have the pretty close, right? Yeah. Okay. So. I'll always be 
been really hard to know what it is in the mm -hmm. past if you read this new system. Right, and the auditors kind of con are confirming that amount, yeah, I would say well, which is nice. Yes. So the amount which will be off by cents is 43,400. $41, and that amount is calculated by subtracting the amount of money the highway was over budget in the amount of $14,307. Again, that's a rounded number. They just round all their numbers. And that amount is subtracted from unanticipated or unbudgeted highway revenue. And that amount in, two th in FY18 was $57,748. And that was from comprised the mostly of um, grant money. So um, we were over budget by grant money. And right, mm -hmm. that's the delta. It's mm -hmm. that $43,000. I don't think we had that in the notes last time. I don't think we had the amounts. Okay. So, all right. So I would make a motion that we approve the transfer of the $43,441 from the highway budget surplus to the capital equipment fund based on the figures as explained by the treasurer. So that's a motion, I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion? Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, next up. We have this document here, um, which I don't ever recall seeing before, but that doesn't mean anything. I could be senile or getting senile. <laughs> this is the Municipal Bond Banks Annual Certification of Government Unit Regarding Post-Issuance Tax Compliance. And this is for the bond that we took out of the town office. And Sandra has completed the form uh, saying that we'd use the money the way we're supposed to, which was all to work on the town office. I don't even know. How many more years do we have to pay for this? 2024, maybe? It's not too much more than that. Um, so we just need to say, yes, we spent the money the way we were supposed to, um, and then sign off. So Sandra can file this municipal bond bank. Anybody want to? Um, it says, this certificate shall be evidence signed by the borrower and delivered to the trustee dispersing and the bond bank that the town of Callis town office has substantially completed so as to permit permit efficient use and operations of the borrower and setting forth any project costs remaining to be paid from the project fund established with the trustee dispersing agent. This was all done a long time ago. Right. 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 So you're saying the project that you received the money, you spent the money as applied, mm -hmm. right. and that the project is complete. And this is for so and that's, it's about ready to fall down from age, right? And that is, uh, and it's an annual. It's an annual. I've never requirement. Seen it before. Really? Annual. It's the same. It, when Worcester took out a bond, it's the exact same form that we filled out every year. The bond bank is kind enough to email it to us and check the boxes. And Sandra checked the file, and there's no copy of anything. There's a year. loose knob in one of the cabinets, though. I'm going to tighten it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So I would make a motion that we sign the certification of project completion for the Vermont Municipal Bond Bank and ask Sandra to send it and keep a copy. Mm -hmm. You tell me the certification name again. The certification of project completion. Mm -hmm. And the town office. Right. Well, yeah, we're so next year it'll ask us the same question. Exactly. Can right. we just send them as built plans and just be done with it? It's it's some sort of um, regulatory 
annual requirement. It might even have something to do with the IRS. I bet it does. It, it asks a couple of irs -y type kind of questions, too. OK. So the motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, I'll send this around for signature. Next up, Brookfield generator contract. And I remember this came up last year or the year before. We sent something to the school and asked them to pay a portion of the service contract. And they were a little upset with us that we asked them to pay for it because the school is technically the town's emergency shelter. But they've also used this generator a few times and it required some additional maintenance, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, so now we have another, we have our annual. What, what is the split we're sending toward the school? How much is it? I think it was a half. half. Yeah, but half of that was $1,000 or $900. I think it was half of 12. So our, at the contract for this generator is, is it eight? Two, okay, two site visits a year, 846. Yeah, remember it's like 900. Yeah. So that's for our generator, but the here, here, but oh. the contract for the generator at the school for which they are asking a contribution for the plan payment is $1,200, give or take, for the year. And they're asking the town to contribute to that payment because the school acts as the emergency shelter for the town. Why don't we? So which one of these is? Why do they? Well, one is the contract, and it, they're they're it's all one yeah. item. And typically, what I remember this vaguely, we've asked the school to pay us back half of the cost of the maintenance for the school generator. Um, but they're kind of. <coughs> Not wanting to pay anything. Really. We have been using the school building for our town meetings now. It's electricity and heat. Right. We are using it, and we are talking about putting the trash depot there. So, mm -hmm. I would I would support us paying for the whole freight on that. Okay. That would be my proposal. So we don't. We'll, we Let's might see what they want. For six hundred dollars, <laughs> it's not worth it. When we use the school, we probably burn how much in heat. Mm -hmm. and, I don't know. And it's really the same pot of money. Well, it, it is. It's, it's, all, it's, it's all semantic here, really. Which well, pocket our, tax dollar, our tax rate is like in support of what he said. <laughs> not that I think we should pay the whole thing. And I am on record saying that. I'm glad you're um, not a resident here. <laughs> the um, <laughs> the, uh, the town's tax rate on expenditures is much less than the school tax rate on expenditures, since it's all coming out of the same pocket. And it's we don't, not a terrible thing for right. us to pick up some of that. Plus, we, the plus we plus we plow their driveway now. When we didn't used to remember. We had that whole yeah. thing with the driveway plowing thing years ago. And, and again, the state subs pays for some of that if it goes to the school, right? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Anyways, plus we do not charge. We don't charge the school for printing their portion of the town report. So. You know, I, don't, I don't think it's worth spending a lot of time on 600 bucks. No. And you know what? You're asking to use put the trash depot there, and they're working on that, and that's taking well, so my cat's cat's time. time and it's all about all insurance companies. It's all about working together. This is all the same town. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So okay. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, Brookfield Service Annual Generator Maintenance Contract. Um, for the town office and the school, we'll pay them both um, service twice a year. Okay. Yeah. Acknowledging that they're accommodating us for town meeting and Hopefully trash depot. Yeah. All right. Um, do we have to sign both of these or something? I think there's <laughs> is it the, the school has its own contract and they're that's the one they're asking for contribution for. So they would so probably just pay us invoice us. Yes, that's just the two town. Oh, two copies. Okay, return one copy. that's what I was gonna do. I thought one was the school and one was the town. No, no. The same. All right, who do you all right, so we have the motion. No further discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 
Any abstentions? Hearing none, motion carries. Who's going to sign this? Uh, any, I can sign it. I was going to say, if sign it. And I'll contact the school and advise them of your motion. Okay, the last Thank thing you. that we want to keep Sandra here for is um, to approve the renewal, which Rose does for the .gov domain, because we can't switch or there's some weird semantics about it. So we every year Rose pays for it on her credit card and we reimburse her. Can't reassign it. No, apparently not. Well, next year we can yeah, use we the town credit card to pay for it. I think. Or um, well, we can change yeah. the town name to the town of Pelchuk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would go over really well. Then I, I want a new generator at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I can use the Sybil Ham credit card pretty soon, and I can use the town credit that card, works. but I think that I have to sign in from my own computer that to do it. it. So that that's part true. of the problem, right? But we'll, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll give you the credit that. card information so yeah. you don't have to yeah. right. extend your own credit for that. Mm -hmm. Right. But for this year, Rose has already paid it. Thank you again. You do it every Thank year. You. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I would move that we authorize the treasurer to reimburse Madam Pelchuk for the so, renewal of the .gov domain. Yeah. We have to do that on a motion. Okay. Is there a second? A second. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I'm going to vote affirmative. I want my money. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do this every year. Yeah, 400 bucks. We do this every year. Yeah. It used to be 125 yeah, for all these years. Yeah, we have. Is that Rose likes it. No, Rose is like it. Oh, okay. It's an accommodation. Okay. Right. For transparency's sake. Right. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, all right. I get it. Anything else, Madam Treasurer? Uh, no. Okay. You can go right along. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. Sandra, 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 Sandra. Um, no town clerk update. Town hall renovation. Are you here for that, Scott? Um, no, no, I was just here. He's just here Sandra there. talk. I love, I love hearing Sandra talk. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to tell my husband. Oh, Somebody likes to hear that. <laughs> We are so lucky to have Alfred on the working on the town hall. I mean, it's, it's just, we had no idea when we signed him on how much he would be involved. And it's one that's Is he doing involved. the forming too? No. No, no, no. no but he's always, there's a lot of. That's Brian Perry and Sunstone. Yeah. 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 And, and his knowledge of construction has helped. Yeah. 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 Which has been a bonus. Yeah. You know, that we're not paying for. And his energy. I mean, he just sort of helps keep the thing moving forward. Yeah. And the road crew, I think, has liked. Yeah. They, they've really enjoyed working on something different. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. We've, we've been very fortunate. Yeah. And it's getting there. I, yeah. I guess on um, Wednesday the committee is going to hear from the, the a proposal for rebuilding, renovating the interior. Right. And, and that'll take a long time, cost a lot of money, but how long it takes and how much it costs. Yeah, we're hoping to get the quote, the final quote they're, from Greenline. The renovation's going to take a long time, you said? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the interior stuff. Right, they tend to take like months. six months, a year, a long time, I don't know what that means. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it, all through could the winter. be all winter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we're also working with Don Marsh on coming up with some options for septic. So hopefully we'll have an update, mm -hmm. give an update Wednesday morning on that. Yeah. And then at some point we'll yeah. so, so that placement of the, the placement of the uh, extra soil that's being placed down there, that's not going to interfere with the siting of the septic system. It's not well, the, going near where the they're location going. that we're looking at right now is on Jeremy Ingpen's land on oh. the side of the road. And that oh. and Marsh has looked at holes and says, yeah, this will work. Well, Scott and John McCullough dug the holes. Oh. Okay. And shovels. Long, so, I see tools with long handles. So we would lease lease hundred year lease or something. Well, and now where guys to right. That's well. for the slug. So what is the thinking? We don't have one yet, really. I, I think Jeremy's given a lot of thought, and so he'll come in with a proposal. Oh, okay. And, how many acres is there a building lot? Are there a lot? It's pretty small and it's very, very, very shaped. Yeah. But his um, marsh 
went through the whole thing with, Je um, with Jeremy, and a lot of questions have been resolved. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so I think we're pretty close to bringing it to the full board, right, for a discussion? Yeah. Well, I think you and, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'd probably want to sit down with Jeremy yeah. a little bit before, yeah, to get an idea of what he is. Because he's been thinking about it, and yeah. ready. he's been ready to go for a couple of months. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, then, okay. so that's just, well, it's all stuff we've just been working on as the committee and getting it ready to bring to the full board. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Was, it was not sure, at all sure if it was going to work until Don Marsh looked at the fur colts a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. Now he's on vacation for two, two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Come along, great. Great. Excellent. Yeah. And then we have Center Vermont ISP, Scott and David. Thank you for coming. Good to see you, David has done all the work. Yes. I've done all the work. I've been on this. He has got a lot of patience, and he needs it. I don't know. Sounds like it's been quite the organizational. Yes, I, I sent from, out a, a copy of what I'm going to talk from earlier. Yeah, it should be in the right. folder. Yep. And, um, just want to say it's thank you for pointing me to the board. All right, I'm not sure I want to say thank you, but anyway. Oh, yeah. thank you for thank <laughs> you. Yeah, thank Too you late. for serving. Right. But uh, no, it's a pretty exciting opportunity, and I, I, I'm not sure I can really, you know, in terms of the way town meeting went and the vote was pretty overwhelming. Um, it's going to take a long time. <laughs> it is longer than you. I, well, I mean, it's money. Mm -hmm. And it's, as I mentioned in my thing, mm -hmm. it, we're basically a municipal entity that can't tax. Mm -hmm. So, although we have to comply with all the public meetings and mm -hmm. public records laws, right. we, we have to find our own money to do this. And so, the, we have a fundraising committee that was just started last meeting. So, we're, we meet once a month, three hours, which is a very long, well, you guys probably need three hours too, but it's a very long time to keep attention going. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you mean? It, uh, mostly at the Berlin Elementary School. And we met at the um, Middlesex Town Hall. Of course, that probably gets, never mind. It's, yeah, well, we're talking about Roxbury to Elmore. So it's sort of a, uh, wow. it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, off of the interstate. Yeah. And I mean, this is the, the, uh, this was in the bridge last week, if anybody saw oh, the bridge. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I, didn't. I get this map basically is of... Um, That's not what you sent with the... No, it's another map, which okay. I meant to put this one in there. And I'll leave this with the, the clerk, whatever. Um, but Elmore, Orange, and Roxbury have the least coverage with really? Callis, Worcester, Marshfield, and Plainfield the next worst in terms of uh, speed and deployment of what's out there. Those three towns only have DSL from Consolidated Communications. Um, we've been sort of modeling ourselves after EC Fiber, which is East Central Vermont Fiber, which has been underway for, I think, six years. Wow. And they're now deployed in six towns and have 3,000 people connected. They started off just doing the easiest roads they possibly could. Now they're just saying we're going to do a town at a time, period. Just, even if there's not five houses on a mile. So, and this is just fiber optic, right? This is fiber optic, but the, the thing that you haven't heard yet is probably lately when you hear about 5G telecommunications, yeah. that all requires little micro cells yeah. on top of telephone poles, uh -huh. which also requires fiber. <laughs> so we don't know where that's going to go, but you can't have both. you got to have both to make yeah. that work, that system work. Uh -huh. We're not even there yet. We haven't done any engineering or any planning to speak of. That's coming up. We still need money to do that, to hire somebody. Uh -huh. We listened to how EC Fiber did their thing. They had some pretty savvy people already on their board. They already had an ISP that was willing to, a nonprofit ISP Valley Net in White River Junction. It actually put up some money just out of the So they do all the billing, all the installations, and all the, uh, and so EC Fiber just raises money and hires an engineering company to to figure out where to, where to put things. Yeah. They're not interested, but we're looking for a similar kind of arrangement. They're not interested in expanding the clue they, Well, they might be. I mean, we definitely will will um, pursue that when we when we get there. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of funding for the thing, we're looking at grants, you know, subscribers, um, go-to funding, and, you know, 
if there's some, you know, if EC Fiber had a, a sweet deal where somebody just gave them five hundred thousand dollars. Some local resident, I know. It doesn't happen that often. I was saying. They also got some of the American, you know, All right, you cash money funding. And, you know, and then he got some telecommunications authority funding when that existed. And all that's gone now. Um, if the legislature gets behind fiber to the home, which hopefully it might happen this next session, a chance to put some more of the trunk line stuff in, which is a, you know, one of the critical pieces. It's $30,000 a mile to connect, uh, to, to run the fiber and do the, the installation for all that. That is not going to the house. That's getting it down the road so we can go to the house. Wow. Yeah. So the way EC Fiber works and the way Kingdom Fiber, which is the newest one up in Northeast Kingdom, is that the homeowner, I think EC Fiber will amortize the cost over a period to the homeowner, but it, it's not cheap to. So does the homeowner in those places pay from the connection here to the, to the connection that's to the expensive house? Either? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not as expensive as the the fiber, but you, what, it's what another is expensive. Four hundred, five hundred dollars. Uh, Thirty-six, five thousand. No, 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 no. Oh no. <laughs> um, but the devices that you put in your house to connect this are like six dollars, oh. and it runs everything. I mean, it, it's. Unbelievable. I mean, it's hard to believe that the consolidated communications or Comcast have not thought this through because, I mean, granted, this utility doesn't have to make money. It has to cover its costs. Right. I, don't, I, I think that you can have high-speed fiber to the house for about $100 a month. Have, but, you, have you thought about, I'm sure you have, and talking with Washington Electric about teaming up with them and say on the poles and they got the crews. Yeah. And, oh, Washington Electric. Washington Electric. Yeah. Washington is here. And I've been talking to Bill <laughs> and Barry Bernstein about what kind of relationship the district might have with, uh, mm -hmm. with the uh, co-op. Um, the co-op is definitely interested in participating in this. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think. It's because we have great cameras. Now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, so, wait, no, I can say, because I'm on camera. I'm not here officially. I wasn't invited. But I saw David was going to present, and I'm absolutely he's, interested. He's, 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 interested. he's, he's, he's and, very and interested. is very interested. Yeah. I can tell this group that our board, our committee of our board met last week, and we're advised. And the, the hook has been set, but the date hasn't been made. So yeah. wow. David's right. going to have a big meeting soon. So what happens so, to so, us people who have hardwood electric? Well, if you live so in this town, you're going to get served. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Um, but that's just the polls. Mm -hmm. We don't know what kind of relationship, you know, because right now you have to pay, I think it's a dollar fifteen or more per poll per month. So it's about fourteen dollars a poll just to have the wire on the poll. Mm -hmm. So those have to be factored in there and whatever kind of relationship. That's regulated by the Public Service Commission. So I don't know how that's going to sugar out over time. The department or the board? You see. The PUC, the commission. No, it's no longer public the board. utility. Public Utility Commission. They went from Public Services Board to Public um. Utilities Commission. Hmm. Anyway, it is pretty complicated stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we have been going real slow in, on, in terms of getting embroiled in any of the uh, regulatory aspects of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, the board, I attached the members of the board. I saw And it looks like old white men. It is. Um, yeah, which is too bad. Yeah. Well, except for I was glad to see that. I was glad to see that Michael Birnbaum was part of this. Yeah, and that's an interesting it's case. He, we, last meeting we asked about conflicts of interest and went around the room. Yeah. And he clearly has a conflict of interest. Right. I mean, he is running not only Cloud Alliance, he's running um, Kingdom Fiber. Oh, he is. Oh. And, yeah, he's, he's, there's no, no, no moss in that guy. Yeah. Um, he's doing this because he sees this is the way to go. Yeah, he's, um, good. he's really behind it. Right. He stands to lose a good deal of Cloud Alliance yeah. in, in this model. Um, and he doesn't know what the future of Kingdom Fiber is either. I mean, they have the money to do Craftsbury and Hardwick. I mean, no, not Hardwick. Even though the wire goes to Hardwick. The, Craftsbury and Greensboro. In Greensboro, yeah. yes. So it's sort of an interesting experiment. Um, I think the next thing you'll hear from us 
is we're going to be wanting to do a survey of um, households, whether we do every one or we do every sixth one, just to get a, a sense of interest, willingness to give up what they currently have, right. to sign on. Are you going to do that through Front Porch Forum? I, my proposal is to do a front porch forum, but there are people who, but the question is, there are people who have no internet at all, so how do you reach them? So we have to figure out a strategy. Um, so we'll be doing that probably, we need it, we don't want to do the survey until we can tell everybody what we think we're going to do. Right. <laughs> and I think we're getting close to that. Um, so that'll be in the next couple months, I believe. Um, have you, if I can interrupt. Yeah, please. Um, so many moons ago, uh, Vermont towns used to straight pipe their sewage right into the rivers, right? Yep. And their water supplies were hither and yon and unreliable. So they got federal support, financial support, and they started building wastewater treatment facilities. And they were pretty low-level mm -hmm. treatment facilities. Um, and then the time came that everybody had to do these upgrades, bring up the, the newer standards. And how was that done? So it wasn't all fine, and the towns couldn't afford it you know, out of pocket. So they came up with this thing, the state came up with this program called Revolving Loan yep. Program. Mm -hmm. And they funded both water uh, supply system work and wastewater system work. And you borrow this money, it's for little or no interest. And it gets approved, it's managed by the agency of natural resources, and then um, you make payments over time. And you know, I see this as very similar. It's something We've been very talking expensive. About that. Oh, okay. Okay. We just had okay. the, you know, it's an, there's a couple items to go to the legislature on. Yeah. That's one of them. Um, and if you teamed with WEC, if WEC wanted to be kind of, they already have billing systems and they have all kinds you know they used to do this well, with, what was that yeah. what was that internet service you guys used to BT Link. But I, I want to correct you. I think David's laid out a model and I don't want to speak for him or the yeah. group. I'm not there yet. But I don't think WEC will ever be in the retail part of this of this really? franchise. No. EC Fiber, they already got they're making donuts, they're doing it. Mm -hmm. What we can offer is the attachment and a quid pro quo. I think that's the offer is mm -hmm. if you live on our lines and you're a WEC member, and the, this attachment part that David kind of glossed over is really important. This dollar fifty for fourteen feet or whatever the number is, that that's the nut we have to crack is what's the basis? Because unlike other utilities, we own the whole pole, we don't have to share it with anybody. All other utilities share like joint usage and ownership, and so it creates a different tension about who's attaching to those poles. We don't have that. So the good news is it's just one owner, and we're not looking to be in the retail space, the billing space, or the content space. What we want to do is leverage the asset and give the member a, a, a deal that we could negotiate on behalf of all of our members. So one of our mantras is to make this a local business. I mean, all local, oh. local you know, keep the, keep the money in central Vermont. Mm -hmm. um, now, can we do that on everything? Probably not, but um, to the extent we can, we will. The other thing is looking for the major subscribers like town government, schools, um, getting them um, connected into the way EC Fiber does schools anyway is they give them the lowest rate and they get the highest speed. So they're not paying, the, the schools are getting a real, like, I think, I think it's $69 a month for, for, for 700 megabits per second. So they're, they're figured out that. I'm not sure what our pricing model is going to be. EC Fiber's got three pricing levels. Uh -huh. um, and they are doing pretty remote kind of towns. I, the, the map I gave you is probably not very self-explanatory. Bella dots. Those are buildings. Those are the E sites. That's the E nine one one. Those are E nine one one buildings in Calus. And what I did is I counted them using the computer, not by hand. Um, <laughs> how many buildings were on each road segment? Mm -hmm. Which are nine one one roads. It's less than three quarters of a mile typically, and so we were looking to see, you know, the payback is really five houses per mile, or six houses per mile. Um, how many do we have? You know, and so anything here that's uh, blue and green is easily makes it. Um, but the plan is, you know, at this point to do it everywhere, 
Um, but what we can't do it. Oh, you have it. Oh, nice. Can't see the colors. See how fancy we are now. You guys are great. <laughs> um, so these are the kinds of things I've been doing on my own. Uh, being semi-retired, I can do great GIS stuff. Now. I, can, I don't have to count them anymore. You know, I get the tools. Um, the other thing, when I did this count, there were I have 878 buildings in Calus. Um, 621 of those buildings, I didn't hand this out, this is a separate oh, okay. that I've done since the map, but based on that map, there's 621 buildings uh, that we had over four houses per segment, mm -hmm. and that was 47 miles of road. So, so you can see it doesn't cover all of Calus's roads, no. but you're getting 72% of everybody in town on that criteria. Now, that was just, you know, so my figuring out, well, those are the easy, the easy to get to houses. Um, and the rent to run $30,000 30, a mile, that would be one and a half million dollars just for Callus okay. to do it. But you amortize it, you know, it's like, that's a fixed cost. Yeah. So, and if everybody paid, you know, 50% of Callus signed up for this and they paid $80 a month, It'd be generating four hundred thousand dollars a year. Wow! So it actually. Nice. Yeah, the what would, the, what would the net be on that? Because you're paying yeah. to access. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, it's my my guess. Everybody's saying eighty. I'm thinking it's going to be closer to hundred because the pool, the, all the things just add up, um, and 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 it's going to take a little while to sort that out. Yeah. Um, so is our WEC representatives attending? Meetings or are you attending theirs or no? I, I'm just going to meet with Barry and no. Bill and, and Patty. Um, I met with Velco, which is the Vermont Electric uh, it's a CEO, it's the transmission company. Out of where? Yeah. Out of, where? Out of uh, the out the distribution utility. They're the big pipes, the big wires. And they have they fiber. Have fiber on they have fiber pretty much all around the state, but not to Calus. I found that out. There is something over cost. Well, it actually runs right behind the WEC office. It's a chain, right. It's GMP's line. Huh. See, that's the rub. Is again back to Callis. The town is not exclusively WEC. They always have the other utility, another utility. Right. So there's this division of whole asset types, even in the same community. I think not only. I mean, you might be on Hardwick. I think there's somebody on. Marsville. No, that's Elmo. Yeah. It, it's a it's strange yeah, there's, number of there's utilities. A through yeah. East Callis, there's up by my house in the north. I think there's Calus. thirteen houses, yeah. to tell you the truth. And it's, it's it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's weird. I don't even know why we have Hardwick Electric. But and they don't have any right on the edge. So yeah, the other town garage has hardwood. Yes. Uh, and none of their data is digital. Yeah. Which yeah. I mean Wex all their line data and polls is digital. Green Mountain Power is digital. And our power goes out a lot. Yeah, but let me think. If there's anything else in here, right? So you're going to be seeing a, a draft annual report and budget from the utility. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. It's coming next week. Um, we have to get it adopted. It has to go to all towns. Mm -hmm. I believe you need to act on it. I'm not exactly sure on all the the rules of it. We're we are now learning. Well, I know all Jim Barlow is on the policy correct. committee. Correct. Yes. Something, right? Yeah. So I just wanted to let you know that we're starting to work on the town report, town budget, yeah. um, and it would be great if you could put in a piece about this, no, I where you're at, yeah. in the town report, because I know people were pretty excited when they yeah. heard about it last year. And the other thing I haven't been able to do, all the minutes are on a Google Drive, but they're not public. And I want, I'm trying to figure out how to get the drive separated so half of it can be public and half of it. Now that's not a town entity, so we can't, can we put anything up on well, the town it, website? I'd rather just put no. links to everything. Well, no, that's what I mean. We could put, yeah. we could put a link to something. I want to link all the, a link is okay. I want to put a link to all the Orca meetings because they, they tape them all. Oh, they do. And they're pretty interesting. I bet. What he says. In my spare time, I will so, watch. Yeah, I, I don't know. Some people do. I mean, it was it was pretty amazing how many people do watch it. Um, so there's, there were 15 towns that voted this at town meeting. We've had one town joined by select board vote because that's the way it works now. You don't have to have a town meeting. So, so I don't, don't ask me why. So Orange me? joined. Why Water uh, Woodbury has not joined? I'm not sure. Um, you might try them again. And at this point, the group is so well. You know how unruly a six-member board can get. Uh, try a 15-member board. <laughs> 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 
Of old white men. Of old, of old white, white men. men. What's strong? <laughs> I don't know. John said that. <laughs> strong <laughs> opinions. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but um, it's a pretty productive group. Although you know, without having a real organization and somebody who's worked full time driving it and making mm -hmm. things happen, it's. It's really hard. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, I but we, we would probably be coming back to you as a town. I mean, right now, I don't know who you're getting a service from. It's probably consolidating communications. But we'll be certainly looking to have you uh, change your contract. So right now, you can. Right now, you can bundle with Fairpoint, Consolidated, whatever. But Consolidated is under review or something, aren't they? With the public yeah. service in, department. They're in some deep food. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the same failures that Fairpoint was uh, accused of yeah. is now yeah. in spades with and the other guy. Right. It's worse. And I hate to tell you, there's, there's fiber line running all down County Road from Fairpoint, uh, from Consulting. Yeah, really? Just not connecting to anybody. <laughs> and all up on East Hill. And East Hill Does that make too. any sense? Yeah. Uh, they, they're, they're a revenue generating outfit that has to make, make profit. And so 15 per mile. Why do the, say what? They need 15 hookups per mile. Three times with these guys. I was going to say 15. That's a lot in the rural community. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Our average is eight per mile. So it is. Again, thanks. What, what's average is eight per mile? Oh, that's yeah, that's 41 towns, so it's really not representative of Cal's, but right. it's, it's an average, yeah. Well, thank you. I'm glad you guys are yeah, no, all working on our behalf. Hopefully, thank the you. next time, even for the town report, hopefully, I'll have more progress right. on that. And, and some, and some figures so people can start thinking about it. So, so while Bill's here, and I'm not pressuring <laughs> WEC, but I always wonder why why utilities like WEC and Hardwick generally aren't in, in the fiber optic Let's take internet. Let's take a lot of offline, John. Uh, I would say this. Just, just general. I'll follow you. you okay, off so what, I, what I'm pleased to say is that the Vermont uh, law was, the statute was changed back in 98 to allow an electric co-op to be in the telecom. So we have oh, okay. we have statutory authority. And in that era, like the pre in the late 90s, early aughts, there was this broadband over power line notion. And frankly, the notion still works, because power is how, if you're a WEC member, oh. that's how we read your meter. Oh. The problem is internet requires that the signal go from the transformer down to the lower voltage into the member's location. And every step is a big expense. It's not so much getting the signal into the line. We do that. It's the through rate, the baud rate on power line carrier for billing is really slow. Because that's all it needs to do, just grab the number, uh -huh. put it in the box. But if you're trying to do broadband, real broadband, you know, the speeds that David was talking about, can't do it. Because of the transformer interface. <laughs> well, well, there's three issues. That and the fact that in order to make the system work, you have to build it out to the end of the system. Right? You, gotta, you can't just do it. If you're midway between the sub and the end of the line, we still have to build it all the way out to make it work. Because we don't want it to stop where you are. Yeah. So anyway, the, the, the take rate and the, the price point that David was alluding to is what Consolidated or Cloud Alliance are offering. I think those are very you know useful metrics. That's what the members are going to look at and say, what do you got for me? So hopefully we can come up with some sweet spot between them. Yeah. And every time the time town meeting gets here, you know, you may have some more info and you can always get up and, you know, spout out some figures or numbers well, or whatever. Well, frankly, this meeting that, that David uh, anticipates with Barry Bernstein, our president of our board, would be really useful. I think Barry's very interested. If you're a WEC member and you know Barry, you might, you know, add your voice because that's what it takes. Um, and, you know, frankly, the day-to-day -day of running a utility is distractive enough. And this is new business, so we've got to find space and skill sets to deal with the business. But I think it can be done. I'm personally very interested. I want to see this happen. I want to see our polls used for more than just carrying right. the incumbents. You know. So the other, the other thing we're very painfully aware of is customer service is everything. Right. Based on consolidated communications. Yeah. And, and Comcast, I mean, really. But, um, now, because you also, the wet polls will carry the phone lines, right? So somewhere along the way, something got worked out with the phone companies and the power companies, however many moons ago, to share. Well, they have to. They have to share. Yeah. OK. The process is called full attaching entities. And David alluded to the formula. So there's this cookie cutter approach. If you're a phone guy or if you're a telecom guy, here's your formula. Pay them in. Pay them. 
pain. And in order to get out from under that regulatory construct to get to a place where we could have a quid pro quo, we'll let you build on our lines in exchange for a discount over time or something like that. We got to do it a different way. We have to have a and the phone companies aren't going to have a problem with this. Oh, they're really no. That's the that's the the sore spot. That's absolutely. They are going to have a problem. They're really? going to flip out. There's going to they're be. They're going to lose business. It depends how well you sell the program. Yeah. Right. If you have a Comcast or a Consolidated putting black fiber down County Road, not energizing. Right. I didn't even know it was there. Yeah, I, I knew it was there. <laughs> you see, and when you see the splices between poles, there's an orange cable in there. Oh. <laughs> That's, 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 that's the I knew it was there. I'll have to look for it when I'm not driving. Yeah, maybe one in your room. No. Um, yeah, and no, I had one more little thing that was triggered by that, but I can't remember it now. So brain, brain first. Um, yeah, because it's consolidated, isn't going to want to see. Oh, that was it. I, yeah, no, it's, but in the EC5, they've been, you know, they're into six towns now, like every house. You know, Nobody's, it actually it might be better for them because one less thing to <laughs> deal with and they can maybe fix the other problems that they have. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be positive yeah. for them. A selling, a selling point. A selling point. <laughs> well, thank you very much, yes, you guys. Thank you this is really very, much. very interesting. And it sounds like... We'll keep you posted. Yeah. Is, there, is there a talk about going to the legislature this year? Yeah. Okay. And Jeremy Hansen, who's the chair of the board, the select board chair from Berlin, is yeah, running for here. he's running for the representative from Berlin. Uh, and um, there is now a joint tech, joint House Senate Technology Committee, which is hot on this issue. Um, both, well, I knew the Democratic candidate is pretty hot on fiber. And the question is really putting the you know, money where their mouths are. But um, yeah, uh, we've missed a bunch of a bunch of opportunities have been missed. I think to do it rationally. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah, the state uh, with whatever money built a fiber line down 89. So that's how EC EC Fiber is pulling off of that. Right. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. And then that uh, goes up to St. John's River. St. John's Bay over to Newport to Hardwood. <laughs> we got left out. The central part of the state got left out, and the southeastern part of the state, southwestern part of the state, got left out. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you David. Nice Thank to you. see you. Thank you well. Yes. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, David. <laughs> yep. Thanks for being an alternate wherever you are, Scott. Yeah. Have you gone to some of the meetings, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got enough other meetings. Uh, today was very generous. Great. Yeah. Catch me. And there was videos on the video. Okay. Those videos are really good. Okay. I'll have to thank you, Orca. I know. That's the thing is, I would like to do it. It's like, oh, yes. I don't even know where you would find it. Where's the link to the Orca? Places are, places are. No, but I mean, if you wanted to look at them, you can just Google video and you can find them on YouTube. Because you guys have a website, right? Yeah, we don't have a list. We have a name. We have a name. And so how do you link them? Oh, they're on the Orca website, must be. Orca website. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. They're on the Orca YouTube site, okay. as well as the uh, station site. Okay. No, I. Thank you, Orca. It's a great service. Well, that was a very dramatic meeting, the last one. I, I didn't film it, but I saw part of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious. Yeah, they, uh, there was a conflict, a potential conflict, there just some important voice to yeah. announce the city might have to remove the person. Oh. Wait, did you talk to them on the phone? No. Oh. Okay. I bet that was. <laughs> thank you, guys. Good night. Thank Good night. you. They fly in. Roshi must not do much for him. I know you didn't phone me on later. All right. So let's get talking about. Did you move that road naming policy thing? Okay. Very good. Poor Katie. She's trying to keep up with our meetings and moving things from this folder to this folder to this folder. You're doing a fabulous job. Thank you. All right. Let's look at the road naming policy. Yeah, I don't want to call it an ordinance. Then we have to go through that whole 
ordinance process. We're going to call it a policy. Okay. I don't think we need to have an ordinance. I don't think it's that big of a deal enough to, to warrant being an ordinance. Did you forget to pay your bill again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bailing off another line here. It, it cuts out. I wonder if they're probably on too. It's probably oh. really slow if they're on. There it is. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Oops, there it is. Jim Barlow's got a new letter on the other side. I was going to say, yeah, that's not the right spelling. Now, is this in Google Docs, Katie, so yeah. we can yeah. make some notes? Okay, I want to make a note, whoever's running the show here, mm -hmm. that it's, um, thank you. Jim Barlow, your name is Phil. Katie, okay. are you going to do the changes? I can, yeah. Where's the little comment box? She's got to type it in. I'm yeah, just so kidding. technically savvy. Um, <laughs> now, Denise, who didn't want to even think about doing this four years ago, she said, oh, you Google Docs, can you update? Yeah, well, I don't do any of that part of it. <laughs> I just ask, please. So, if I opened it as a Google Doc, <laughs> so they're not going to see in live time my changes. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, so I'll, I'll just, open ooh, Google yeah. Docs. And yep. mine's just still trying to think. Well, it'll take it a minute to get yeah. there. It's tired tonight. Really super fast internet, that'd be cool. Wouldn't it? That'd be sweet. You mean something like through Southern Vermont ISP? Yeah. Wait, I just assumed you're going to see another stuff. Yeah, somebody should. Oh. One more time. Yeah. Well, well, okay, I'm Cliff's, here. Cliff's got it, so we can just start from here. Yep. Yeah. All right. <coughs> we just need to scroll down. Through the afternoon. Okay, so we'll work on this. It's not, let's, can we make a note to change it from ordinance to policy? Mm -hmm. And there's no the end of his name, right? She just, she just asked that. And Good. she's Katie. changing the policy. Katie. Look at that. It's up on the screen. Da -da -da. Okay. So will it just automatically change it? Policy. Yeah, see, we just, it'll right. show the changes as she's doing them. And then we can accept it as a final document. Versus ordinance again. Is there a way to like, yeah. you know how in Word you can do, mm -hmm. find all kinds of things? Um, by ensuring that emergency services can locate addresses expediently and efficiently, effectively. Denise, is this a model policy from VLTC? That this one just I think tweaked? No, I think Sharon found one from another. Oh, so yeah. someone yeah. else. The didn't actually have one. Yeah. yeah no, she brought I think it was, was. Of, uh, was it Berlin? Uh, I think Berlin and East Montpelier. Yeah. yeah, no, East Montpelier didn't have one. They didn't have one. Okay, then it was Berlin only. Yeah, I think it was Berlin. All right. Hi, Jen. Sneaking out early. Can you put the camera on here? Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. This is just writing. This is a family Hi. hour Hi, presentation here. Yeah. This is a video. You've got to watch language here. Oh. Can you names? Take names? Yes. All right. So, can we put a, where it says a uniform road naming or addressing system promotes the health and safety of the public by ensuring that <coughs> emergency services. So John, should we also put in there the um, okay. well, this would assigning be, a road name. Be redundant to say okay. I and we, I know Rose and I have this thing about select board. Mm -hmm. We like it to be one word capitalized. We get to do that, right, Rose? That's right. <laughs> I know that others don't necessarily always agree. I agree with that. Okay. You got to smarten the computer up to understand it. Good night, Jen. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, no. And then it's up Green there. Snow. You'll have to go seek and find. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's getting pretty. Uh, wow, cool. 20s, uh, 
I have every distinct, every distinct row is in the Okay, changing a row name. We're not gonna, you know, tonight we're just kind of going through it, and then we can get a new draft and then do it again. Turn the date to be determined. No, it hasn't, but today I was called. Don't know if we can change a private road name. I think we need to, can we put a note there to double check and make sure that we have the authority to change private road names? I'm not sure we have that authority. Having three or more residences, or yeah, businesses. I just want to want to check it out. But yeah, we should definitely verify it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we see some units at Oxford, and. town could force a change of a private road because if there was a private a person wanted to name their private road Pekin Brook Road I think we could say no right but because they, it would cause confusion and but they have to come to the select board when they want to change or create the name of the private right, road right. what I'm not sure is the select board has the authority to change a private road name which is what that is right which is what this says. Right. I, I don't know. I think so. I think if you, you know, we'll find out. Yeah, the 911 board says right. the problem is a road of the same name in East Montpelier and people are going to the wrong place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there could be reasons yeah. why. Yeah. Yeah. Bliss Road is yeah. terrible. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Bliss Road is After terrible. After initial replacement. Like bliss. Bliss. Yeah, bliss. Yeah, bliss. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. right. It says private road owners may coordinate. I think it shouldn't be shall. Yes. What is it? Yeah. Or is it actually screwing up? No, it just shows you. It just can't do it. It's a paper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, so those are the S M Oh Sharon's no, I couldn't find any other reason. I thought yeah, I thought the um in answer to Sharon's question, I thought the state or the E nine one one is it isn't it is it federal? Mu mu twa M U Municipal yeah. Uniform oh, M U T S A or M U T S A I think yeah Municipal Uniform so, Traffic Control Can you put a little question mark there or something, something like that? M U T A T I A I know T A just T A I don't know Municipal Maybe Uniform Traffic Control Maybe at the end of Sharon's note we can just put a check the muta mm -hmm. Traffic Control Doors no Traffic Control manual. Is something new? It's not a manual. Control. Uh, probably, actually, probably Alfred knows. I don't know, and that's not the name of the orange book? M U T C D. Yeah, that thing. Uniform Traffic Control Devices. Yeah. So let's put a note to check that. It's federal. No. Yeah. So that, yeah, that we talk about the size of the letters and the reflexes. Did anybody notice how the signs in East Montpelier are smaller? Did yeah, you mentioned did that. Did you see that? No, so are, we, okay. so are we overdoing it, or are they not? We're supposedly we're standards. following the standards. I don't know, but East Montpelier, the signs are, the well, signs and the letters are smaller. Huh. So Katie, did you see that? I don't, it's not showing up on your screen, but. Oh, okay. The, right. notes, the note is in there. Okay. 
As long as you have the resources, you. Um, from the E911 manual, blah, blah, blah. Secondary highways and city streets, smaller signs may be used if authorized by lawful authority, meaning the state allows. So maybe that's what they're doing. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Deviations from standard sizes are prescribed herein, as prescribed herein, shall be in six inch, six inch increments. Oh, this is good information. So we shared nicely. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thanks, John. <laughs> Hope we weren't too loud. Hope we weren't too loud. Uh, we were loud. Want cake? No, we were loud. <laughs> Good night. Night. Thank night. you. Yeah. All right. Well, this is and so. Can you go back up to what that heading said? Address Okay, that's good to have in there. All right. So that would. So that is actually how Ann figures it out. Right. This is Posting of designated addresses. Posting. Oh, yeah, so that's the entrance. Yes. Okay, I'll take the other half. <laughs> okay, all unit structures. The owner, wait a minute, the owner of a multi-unit structure should, should display one number for the entire building in a manner visible from the road. Each unit shall affix. So which is it, should or shall? You see what I'm getting at? Yeah, should have, should, shall, shall. Right. right. But I don't know that you can force people to affix the number. Uh, because up above it says oh, yeah. it says may. We strongly but then we're up saying above it shall says, put you know, right. unit numbers on. I think up above it says we it, it's strongly encouraged. But I don't think you yeah, can make yeah. make somebody but do I it. Wonder if multi -unit ones you can, I don't know. This is a road naming policy. You can't you could make somebody yeah, number right. their structure. Right. Yeah. So Some I think people want anonymity, you know, right. concern. Yeah. So I think shall shouldn't be shall. Maybe it's a, yeah. it's a say should, yeah. which yeah, is say. more flexible. Should. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The sign he was planning on prior, prior to issuing his own permit. We're missing a word. I put the word to in there. Prior oh, to yeah. issuing okay. a zoning permit, shall procure from the select board. Okay, and we we defer to our designee as the E nine one one coordinator. <laughs> the owner of any new residence or address shall display. <coughs> See, mm -hmm. I don't again. I don't know. It goes back and forth. Some places it should yeah. or shall. So I'm not sure. I guess I have a. Where did this one? original template come from? I think they said it was from Berlin. Oh. Okay. I, I can't. I don't know for sure, but I think that's what Sharon said. Because here it says the owner of any new residence or address I know. shall. All right. And up above it says something different. So I think we can put some questions. So that's new residences. What existing ones don't have. To, I don't understand. Yeah. So we need to put some question marks there. Hmm. Pursuant to Article 4 above. What's Article 4? Well, that see, one. that's what I'm saying. That one, see? posting of it. See, and here it says they're strongly encouraged. Right. So now, down, now down in this yeah. section, we're saying you have to, prior to issuing the property owner and developer shall procure blah, blah, Go back blah. Up. Prior to issuing the property owner 
shall procure from the select board an official address for each new business or residence. Okay, that's fine. Okay. The owner of any new residence or address shall display. Yeah, should, I think. I yeah, mean, I think it should be should again. I don't yeah, know I mean, I think most people would do it. They're so happy that they have a new house, they're going to put numbers up. But well, maybe they are, but you yeah. can't, right? Because we have to make it yeah. one section and agree with yeah. the other section. Yeah. Okay. All right. And it says display the official number on the president pre premises in a permanent fashion. Right. And like, I have an 800 foot driveway. I don't have a number on my house, but okay. I have a number at the en end of the road. Right. You can't even see the So it's right. not on my premises. Right. Uh, unless you call it. Well, it's on your the premises. end of my road is right. my premises. It's not on your residence. Right. Yeah. Yeah. New private roads when development. Okay. Shall propose road names to the select board. Okay. Vandalism. You got to catch them first. I mean, how many times has a Lightning Ridge roadside been stolen and we don't know? from the statute. We don't know. I don't know. And Sharon's not here to ask where she got it from, so we have some questions for her. All officers of the Vermont State Police shall be recognized. Fence. I know, I guess uh, I have a yeah. question. I mean, I guess you could put it in there, but. Who's going to enforce it? You know, you got to catch them. Who's going to be standing in there waiting for them to catch it? Right. Yeah, I mean, you can't right. catch them. Oh, I'll respond. I copied. And then now that she's saying, I should copy these generally from the East Montpelier policy. This. Yeah, I don't think we want. Does anybody else think we need an ordinance or just a policy? No policy. So we don't need all this ordinance stuff, but we can leave it in there for now. Yeah. Okay, good, we got through it, yay. Thank you, Katie. Now we're ready to talk about the credit card policy. Sharon had done some and I went in and looked at her the general information stuff that you posted. Oh, right, that was just what I took from the LCT's policy. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, that's just kind of here's where Sharon starts. Yeah, but I had included, I think. Okay. There are your changes in there. Can you see? Can we see <coughs> the changes that she Let me made? Uh, go here and do it this way, and you should be able to see them. That's good. But there's an existing um, Google Doc version. There was one that Sharon worked on, and then I looked at that and made some other comments. Okay, this must not be that one. Right. That's the only thing that I get confused about with Google Docs is which one yeah, is the current see. version. Uh, it's owned by Sharon. Sure, here it is. That's it, yep. Why does it say me on there? Who's me? Me. Oh, that's you, okay. I can even see. Okay. It's pretty bad when the road name and policy is longer <coughs> than the credit card policy. All right, so yes, I included that other piece out of the VLCT stuff just for general information. Okay. Do you hold and use for town visit town credit card issue through. <coughs> I don't know if we wanted, I don't know if we ever switched banks. You'd have to remember to update this policy. So I don't know if we should say the name of the bank or no. just was that your idea to put that in there no. or Sharon's idea? Sharon's. Yeah, I don't think I don't I think we want to tie ourselves to You could call it a valid credit card. Right. Right. 
or do you mean to put a comment? No, we may have a multiple of credit card. It just says two here. Well, we, we authorized the treasurer and the town clerk to have a credit card, and that was it. But I can see a scenario, not actually meeting Ronnie yet, but like we all have two different or three different credit cards, right? And one we use all the time, but we always have some. That's and, fair. And there might be, we, we might have one from a different issuing entity for some particular reason. You know, I don't know. Yeah, the idea here was the bulk of our transactions would continue the way we normally do yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Right. Small pieces of business that come up that would just be easier to conduct. Yeah, once in a while. Well, I've, I've, had to, I've had to use yeah. my personal credit card three or four times now. Yeah. Here's the example right here. Yeah, the dot gov. The dot gov. So. So, anyways, that's where that's at. Okay. But I don't think we want to tie ourselves. Yeah, no, a, you don't have to say who the issuing thing. agency yeah. is now. What would you like it to say? Um, town credit card issued through a bank. It doesn't even have to say that. Just say issue a town credit card. Well, that's true. And the shared town account. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of like wordy. Yeah. Where did those come from? I don't know. The town clerk and the town treasurer. Maybe I brought them in at some point. To each for A town credit card with a credit limit of $5,000 on the account. Yeah. I won't tell you more daddy. But even if you put with a credit limit of $5,000, period, you don't right. have to write on the account. You right. know what it is, right? Right. So it'll, it'll read the town clerk and town treasurer to each hold and use for town business a town credit card. With a $5,000 limit. With the credit well, yeah. limit of $5,000. There you go, that works. I think what she was trying to imply that they would not each have a card that's valued at 5000 Well. It would be one account. Right, one account with a $5,000 limit. Why don't we just say that? So why do you have to specify that one is going to be for the town clerk and one is going to be for the treasurer? Because they have the authority to sign. They're the only authorized signers. So change it to... in our custody, right? Yeah. Delete on the account. And it can be with a total credit limit of $5,000. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you can do a seek and change for all the lowercase separate select board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because Rose and I have that authority. You, apparently, you also have the authority, or soon we'll have the authority to rename private roads. So we can have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> Make a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Do you care for any nuts? Thank you. Do you care for any nuts? Sure. Thank you. There's cake, girl. Would you like a piece of cake? Oh, okay. Thank you. And there's nuts, too. Are we ready to move now? I'm good. Okay. 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 So can only be used ish, used by the named card holder. So the card holder is going to be the town account, right? Right. Because I was thinking of the situation we had tonight with the .gov domain. Because if you order something online, you don't have to, you don't sign anything. It just says town account list on it. Yeah, we can. Before we finalize it, we can ask Sandra to make sure that everything's congruent. Yeah. Yeah, she hasn't weighed in on this yet, so I'm thinking, like, this is draft. 
Second draft. Since this is, I mean, the reason we're looking at this is we think it's such a serious matter. I would suggest to what the state does. And the line that says employees may be subject to disciplinary action for misuse of a credit card. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that we augment that to say employees may be subject to disciplinary action up to and including dismissal. Oops, this that way there's no debate whether it's a first infraction. This is that. Oh, okay. I see what you right? Mean. Oh, it kind of says that at the end. Did I get that wrong? Hmm? Read the sentence to make sure it's what you. No, you said it. Not to and including. Just in the or misuse of a town credit card. Mm -hmm. And then it says it again. Oh, oh. It says it again <laughs> there, so I. Public disclosure of misuse? Can we make it? I'm assuming that that means we, we would make it. We could make it public if we chose. Well, I don't think we can say that. I don't think we have. Like tar and like, feather. That's, yeah, oh. that's. Yeah. We'll hang them in stocks in the town square. Right. And that's what we're doing. So do you want that section removed? Yeah, I think that's overkill. It's tar and feather. I like that. It's, <laughs> uh, okay. We're north of the Mason. Card payment, interest, and fees. Now where that generates fees? What are you talking about? That's kind That's of weird. weird. Yeah. You're not allowed to use it for any illicit stuff. Right. But so you know our treasurer depends on the timing. Uses it to pay a bill, and it costs the town three dollars. Well, there was somewhere. That's a prohibition. I think that I, had, I thought I made a comment on that section, but I don't see it in the comment. Side. Mm -hmm. No. No, I think this is all ridiculous. Mm -hmm. This payment thing. Well, this is the VLCT. Yeah. Well, this version. is this so it's really in depth. Just so you know. Yeah, you know, it's pay your bills on time. I mean. I do see under the card payments there. If I click on where you've highlighted it, is this your comment? Can we get this set up as an EFT payment? Yeah, that was my comment. Are you able to see that there? No. My well, suggestion was that we see if we can oh, just to read it to me again. Um, can we get this set up as an EFT payment? If not, we'll have to maybe put in writing as we've done with other invoices to pay and approve after the fact. Oh. Yeah, because remember how yeah, we have I mean, certain if the bill comes, pay it. Automatic. Here it is. It's the automatic check. automatic payment on your checking account. Oh, okay, it's called EFT. Here it is. It's on the yeah, that's my comment. Yeah, but is that going to screw up Sandra's system? Uh, no, if it's EFT, it doesn't. No. No. But that's why I put it there. I want her to weigh in on what's yeah. going to be the best way to ensure timely payment, basically. I, I don't like this interest fee system. I think it's. I think you need a proctologist here to do this. This is like really micro. I, think, I mean, it's actually pretty much what we're saying. I think it's insulting. Something to do. I think I just think it's <clears throat> it should say the town we pay our bills on time anyway. It's like we have a special policy for this set of bills. It's a bill. Yeah. It's like any other bill. It's we take out a loan on a truck. We don't say that the road commissioner shall ensure that the truck payment is made monthly basis and <laughs> you no know, interest on the truck adding our penalties. I mean, come on. It's every loan we have. It's okay, another so loan. So what I'm saying, this is a VLC. Yeah, I know. I know. I think it's document. We don't have to do it exactly as they say. Right. This is their recommendation. Yeah. I think it's. So if we don't think we need that section. What if we just delete all of that except for the very last sentence? Where is it? Where does it start? The last sentence. And the treasurer shall monitor fees yeah, and like interest. That's okay. And it changes. Yeah. Because we all know that. That right. happens with right. credit cards. Right. Oh, guess what? We're going to start yeah, charging you an annual fee. Right. That. So let's just strike that. Okay. Good. Security. We suggested, that was the suggestion that Sandra made in one of her memos. 
can we just say stored in the vault? Yeah. It has to be a secure location in the vault. The side, some of them. Well, of course, during the day, you've got all kinds of people in and out of the vault. Okay, then mm -hmm. just leave it. Um, looking up records and all that stuff. So they don't have any lock boxes in the vault. Well, I think that's the point. Is we should probably set so, so that up. You know, and that that's the part that like really would be weird. Like if I had to take the credit card to my house to pay the dot gov because mm -hmm. it says that you, well, you can't loan it to other employees. Well, what and, you would do? I mean, it wouldn't case, be a loan, but what they would do in that case is they would give you the credit card information over the phone. Oh yeah, right. Because there's nothing to swipe. Right. So my, I think I had a comment too. After the word lost, I think if you if you click, I can't on see it, my comment. I can't remember what I said. If you, if you click, click on the word lost, um, and her comment is just a little bit under the screen mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I want. I thought maybe it should say lost, stolen, or compromised. Because sometimes credit card information gets stolen. No, it says compromised. Compromised. <laughs> I agree with compromised. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm done with compromised. Okay. <laughs> <Is that a laughs> second. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Donald Trump tweet. And any. <laughs> Let's wait a few minutes. The White House will make it an official spelling. Yeah. <laughs> right. I spelled it. <laughs> it's hard to spell, isn't it? It's contagion. It's a contagion that's going around the room right. here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. That makes sense because we have to keep all that stuff for audits. Yeah, the one thing I saw in this section for telephone purchases, documents, documentation will include a fax copy. Yeah, I made a note. Okay. What's a fax? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Just a copy of the receipt is fine. Right. Where's a copy of the itemized notes? receipt. Stored to be stored on an A track. Mm-hmm. That's that? a matchbook code <laughs> underneath it to keep the heads aligned. Yeah, we, yeah. Don't, we don't have a fax machine. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is draft two. Do we have a date on this? It's called draft 10, 8, 18. So the separation thing, prior to separation from the town card holder will surrender the credit card with the select board. If, this, if they're sitting in the vault, I, I just I think that's just in the a, vault. You want to make sure somebody doesn't leave. And well, they maybe can surrender have, by saying it's in the vault. Right. Okay. So can we? How do we want to name this so we can have it? Can we name it ten fifteen or something? Eighteen mm -hmm. credit draft policy. Draft ten fifteen. Yeah. 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 So we know which version we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Change the header from BLCT to probably get rid of that. It's the callous, callous credit card, draft capital card policy. Title block. Okay, wow, we got through both of them tonight. Great. Um, just to give Jerome a heads up, I'm going to ask the board to go into executive session when we get done with, all, with the minutes and stuff. All right. Anything else on those two things? All right. So. I'm going to give you my update first. The BCA meeting is canceled. Sorry, my name is 
withdrew his um, appeal. Appeal. And oh, good news! Jim Barlow is changing the way he bills us for his services. Remember, we had the engagement letter and we did it quarterly and so on and so forth. We haven't really. I think the last time he said he billed us was. I have to look at his email now, but it's been several quarters. And he actually sent the town a refund of like $1,300. Oh. Um, nice. So that was nice. But I did talk to him about, you know, why don't you just keep it on file? And then when we do have something, you can take it out of that. He said, no, let's stick to the way we he wrote the agreement. So that's fine. So um, we, you know, we've been lucky this year that we haven't had a lot of legal expenses. That doesn't mean it mm -hmm. stay that way. We all know that. Um, John looked up the cost of doing CPI. The CPI for when we're looking at budgeting, you said it was 2.7%. Oh, right. What? Consumer C price index. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, cost of living adjustment, essentially. Okay. Provides the basis for Deciding, determining cost of living adjustment. And what was it again? 2.7. The, the regional CPI for New England um, over the last 12 months is at 2.7%. Uh, so just have that in your mind when we're looking yeah. at yeah, that's budgets good, and good salaries information. and all that stuff. Um, we should do another appreciation dinner. I'm thinking maybe we'd have it at the Maple Corner Community Center. They have a kitchen there, and there's also the East Callis. Yeah. And there's also the East Callis side of town. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe do, we can do something there, too, because they have a kitchen at the rec center. Oh. So I want to see if we can Why start figuring out a date or something. Because everybody really liked it last year. Yeah, that was great. Um, I want to talk about a buildings and maintenance person. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a copy of stuff in the folder. Mm -hmm. gonna take a minute, oh, here's upside. the note from yeah. Jim. As per our agreement, within 60 days, I will be returning funding $1,350 to the town. And then he's just going to start billing us um, at the rate. Such an honest guy. He is. He's very honest. So, we used far less. So there's that. Here's the building maintenance stuff. And for some reason, that's upside down. Mm -hmm. I have to do this to, to make it right side up. To work. But it still wants to do that. There, there we go. go. There you go. So there's lots of little jobs that need to get done, and when the town hall is done, that's going to need somebody to kind of like a superintendent. I don't know what you. I don't know what you call it. Currently, we have Andy Felice at fifty dollars a month, and he comes in and changes light bulbs and fixes the window that's stuck and stuff like that. But for instance. The town office roof over in this corner yeah. has been leaking for two years. And it's like somebody has to be the one to go and get in the estimate from Hutchins, come to the board, say how much it's going to cost. Should we go ahead? It'd be nice to have a cover over the generator. You know, Andy could probably build the cover, mm -hmm. I think, but not at fifty not in his fifty dollars right, a right. month stipend. Right. Mm -hmm. So what I'm asking is for the board to think about. Hiring or appointing somebody to do, and Andy's willing to do more than he's doing now. But we, you know, we need to pay somebody a little more. Mm -hmm. We want them to oversee some of these kinds of projects and things that need to get done. And I found a list that looks familiar. Looks like maybe a Donna list or something. Well, I found several lists. I mean, you have a few that are posted. 
talked to Tom Frost. He's willing to do more work, but he doesn't want to be the person making sure the work gets done. Yeah. Andy Felice is willing to do more. So I thought maybe, um, and we can do this at a staff meeting too, because the town st office staff really kind of knows. Yeah. For instance, you know, replacing the water filter and purchasing the supplies, trash and recycling, shoveling, all that stuff might be, a, you know, the, the Andy person, whoever we yeah. decide to ask to take that job. And then there's bigger things like the exterior washing of the building. Tom Frost did it, but the town office staff lined it up. Yeah. And they don't really want to be in the job mm -hmm. of being the. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm getting at? Yep. What we need? Yep. So if we could start thinking about this, for instance, this fire extinguisher thing, I don't know why we don't get Fire Pro Tech set them up to come in on a regular basis to check the fire Plus extinguisher. Plus money. Mm -hmm. Or Vermont Fire Extinguisher. Thing yeah, one of, one of those. Mm -hmm. We just have someone to look at the gauge. That's what the guy, our guy, would do. Oh, okay. I thought they had a test. They look at the gauge, and there's a there's a date on it when it expires, and maybe you want oh, to take okay. it to them. Yeah. It has to have a label, and you have to initial that you yeah. checked it. But there's a gauge on it, whether it's right. Oh, I thought they had charged. to come in and yeah. test it or something. No. No, mm -hmm. they just look at okay. the gauge. So, anyways, that kind of stuff. So maybe we can come up with kind of these, you know, a new list of what we'd like somebody to do, mm -hmm. and. I don't know if you wanted to like post the position on Front Porch Forum. We have somebody who's good and is willing to do it. I would want to pay that, pay him a little more. Mm -hmm. By the way, he changed all the light bulbs. He must help write his. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's yep. see, finally. Well, and then we had an instance where the smoke detector. Oh, the or battery something was chirping. Right. Right. And so what they do, what, what's happening, and this is part of the catalyst for this is John McCullough, who's it's donated really cool. so much time to the town, gets these calls on a Sunday or a Friday afternoon yeah, something or something, like and he jumps something. to help them because yeah. that's who he is, and, and he, he really he comes home to the vacuum cleaner running. Right, right. So, so we need to get this fixed. It's inside joke. We'll explain that later. Yeah, we'll explain it later. Um, so are you okay if we kind of work with the office staff? Yeah, yeah, and I, I don't know who Andy and Felice is, but I mean, if he currently knows our operations and he's willing to do it mm -hmm. with more money, you know, I I would be fine. And I think Thanks. when the town hall gets renovated and is back up and running, yeah. that's another whole ball game. Yeah. Because there's going to have to be somebody to do scheduling, for use of the town hall and all that at a later date. I frankly see offices sliding over there. People are going to see the opportunity there. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So we can move forward. Very good. Yep. Um, So now we're going to do minutes, and then we're going to go into executive session, please. Did you look at the minutes, Rose? I did. Um, I did too. September 24th and October 1st, is that what you have? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do September 24th first. September 24th. And I think, and I looked at them, and I think I went in and made some notes or changes, I can't remember. There was one of them, I don't know, the one that Judy took. Yeah, this is the one she took. Mm -hmm. I don't think they could be, I don't think I got them to work so you can make a comment. Yeah, it's Judy. I think the only um, mm -hmm. one correction I had. Somebody's name was spelled wrong on one of these. I think that one was mine, not Denise. I think it's the other document. I spelled Samantha's wrong. Oh, right, right, yep. Yeah. So under number 13. Yeah, um, number 13, I, it's Poplar Hill Cemetery. Okay. Forgot the word hill. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think that's the only. Yeah, I don't think I had anything. That's the else. only thing that I found on that one. Okay. All right. Thank you for folks. 
Kong honoring my plea to check email a couple times a week. It's really helpful to get. I don't have to call everybody. All right, so are you making a motion, Rose? Oh, yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of September 24th as amended. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Motion carries. October 1. That's the Poplar Hill. The PHC. Right. Is it, how do you, Samantha, is S-I-M? S-I-M-A-N-S-K-I-S. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure I had it right. And it's then, S-E-M or S? S-I. S-I-M, yeah, okay. okay. On, on, on line 10. Yeah. On paragraph 10, it's filled Yeah. Up. It's also in. Yeah, and there's, you know, a couple throughout I'll the document. Them. Yeah. Right, and there was another, someplace further down, it was, I mean, I thought you did a really great job on this. Because that was a lot. When he, you had when he had done instead of when he had done. Do you see an item eight? Oh, this is the one I had in the teens and twenties. Right. Their fund was established. You mean in the nineteen? Are we talking years here? Like yes. in the nineteen hundreds. I think that's what he meant. In the nineteen hundreds sure. and twenties, their fund was established. Where yeah. are you? The board. Item guess. number eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the teens and twenties. Yes, yeah, that's the Third early century. nineteen. I, the okay. nineteen. Can we say that instead in, of in the early nineteen hundreds? Yeah, yeah. say in the early nineteen hundreds. Yeah, in the early nineteen hundreds. I notice you have a paragraph number and no paragraph. Paper. Well, no, that's yes, the formatting that's, thing that gets. Yeah, yeah. it's because I do it in Word and convert it to Google Docs. And oh, really? And then she converts it back to Word, and it always it cleans itself up. Oh, it does. But so if you look at it online, it's fine. It's because I need to make it to a PDF to post it online, and I want a document saved for you all on this computer. So. Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right. Paid is P A I D. Oh, yeah. Let's see. We're in number five. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, no, it's that same one. Oh, yeah. It's that, yeah, yeah. P A I D, <coughs> maybe yearly. But um, under the people's names at the top, Paul Massetti, oh, there's no R. Okay, M A C. Yeah, well, and I, I should have looked it up, but um, okay. you could Google his yeah. name because he has a brother named John Massetti, too. M A C, yeah, I mean, I think you're close, but it doesn't have an R. Mm -hmm. Um, M-A-S-C. Yeah. I don't think I had much. Paul Massetti. And I mean, then... So paragraph 7, line 2, right? Yeah, that right there is his name. Second sentence mm -hmm. in number 7. Yeah. yeah, I'm changing it. I don't know why it's, it's not, not showing, showing up there. there. It's not showing right. up there. It showed up here. Okay. I'm like, it's it's a different, different version of the document I'm in, probably. Okay. And then and one little picky thing is, can we change the last sentence where it says a road further to further erode? road? Paragraph you want. Same thing. Same one. To, instead of erode further, it's further mm -hmm. erode. Mm -hmm. Well, then you would lose the. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Anything else, Rose? Yeah. If you can scroll down. Um, the mm. group. Keep going, I think. Oh, yeah. Under the. Um, keep going. Oh, yeah. I wrote under the. Keep going under the bullets. <coughs> okay, stop. It says, it says North Callis community, mm -hmm. it's North Montpelier right. community. Mm -hmm. And then keep going. Oh, well, I got that. Okay, yeah, no, keep going. You fixed that one already? Mm -hmm. I yeah. Just got that from yeah, yeah, instead of Juanita, yeah, it's Thank none. You. And that's that. Yeah. That was a lot to, to take in. Just your brain must some nights be like ready to explode <laughs> when you leave here, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Mine explodes before I get here. Very good. <laughs> so I'll make a motion to approve the October 1st minutes as amended. Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. Okay. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none. Very when good. you get those done, Katie, could yep. you send them, send them to the cemetery commission members? Yes. Thank you. All right. We don't have any warrants. What about this the, is the special meetings at different? Special. There was a set. Uh, was that October, eyes are not different versions. Right, October 10 was a special meeting, but yeah. yeah. So, um, while well, Katie and Jerome are being packed up, can we get a motion to go into executive session to talk, to discuss personnel matters? I would move that. In accordance with one BSA section three one three eight three. Yes, I would move that. <laughs> Second. Oh. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Right. And you went into executive session at 9.08.